The disciples have just been horrified to hear Jesus say that if someone causes anyone who professes to believe in him to stumble, that it were better if a large millstone were hung around their neck and they were thrown into the sea. And if they thought that was tough, just wait and see what Jesus says next. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than with two hands to go into hell, where the fire never goes out. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, where the worms that eat them do not die and the fire is not quenched. These are some of the strongest words that Jesus ever spoke. And through the course of history, some Christians have taken these kinds of sayings very literally and have physically harmed themselves. But that's not what Jesus was saying at all. It's not what he meant. His words have a spiritual meaning. The lesson that Jesus wants to make sure that his disciples understand is that eternal life is so important that we must let nothing, nothing at all, stand in the way of our salvation. And in context, as we saw in the previous episode, Jesus is specifically talking about being unloving and unkind to others. If there is anything unloving or unkind in us, we must allow God to cut it out of our lives to ensure that it doesn't separate us from God so that we lose our eternal life. There is a spiritual challenge in Jesus' very confronting teaching here, and here it is. What are you prepared to sacrifice for Christ? Your time, your energy, your money, your reputation? Are you letting anything stand in the way between you and Jesus? If you are, Jesus is saying, it's time to let it go.